Here is your NBC 26 update. I'm Regina On. We now know a hole in a valve is to blame for the April explosion and fire at Husky Energy in Superior. The latest findings from the U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board comes almost eight months after that blast that injured dozens of people and forced mass evacuations across the city. Officials say next steps will be releasing a final report to the public. You may want to check your freezer for frozen beef after a salmonella outbreak has sickened hundreds of people. If your beef has the establishment number EST267 on it, throw it out. The CDC says that a salmonella outbreak linked to the recalled beef has made 87 more people sick. In all, 333 people in 28 states have gotten ill. 91 of those had to be hospitalized. The beef was sold in more than 100 stores nationwide. A published report today says Governor Scott Walker plans to announce a $25 million deal with Kimberly Clark's corporation. Walker is speaking at the Fox Crossing plant as we speak. The plant employs nearly 400 people. We'll have an update tonight at 5 and 6. Well, time for a check on weather. Here's meteorologist Gino Recchia. Gino, how is it looking tonight? It uh, looks like we'll have another quiet evening, maybe some patchy fog, Regina. Temperatures this afternoon got up into the mid and upper 30s, a little cooler up towards Anago where they were right around freezing. And we will remain in these values for the next uh, few hours before the sun sets, and then we'll start to cool off into the 20s overnight tonight. As we take a look at Storm Shield radar, it's pretty quiet, some of us having more cloud cover than other. We have two disturbances moving in, one from northern Minnesota, and then another one moving in down from the south over the central plains. It looks like for the most part we'll miss out on it, but we can't rule out an isolated stray snow or wintry mixed shower moving across the area late tonight into the real early overnight period. Otherwise remaining pretty quiet. There is a potential for maybe some patchy fog, so just keep in mind full for that if you're driving overnight tonight into tomorrow. But it looks like Friday it is going to be a much better day. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures should warm up into the lower and mid 30s. For the latest news, weather and sports, download the NBC 26 app. It is free on the App Store. Have a good one.